In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the AI avatars as part of your learning interactions. With the release of Adobe Captivate 13, you now have the ability to add avatars. But you're not limited, of course, to just having them read the narration for the slide. You can actually make them an interactive component of your learning interactions that you built. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm starting with a slide from one of the Quick Start projects just for this example, but you can apply this to any project that you're currently working on. First thing I need to do is I'm going to take the text for each one of these icons and hide it during publish. So I can right click on this and select hide during publish. Alternatively, you can select the text and just click the Hide During Publish icon in your Properties Inspector there. I'll do that really quickly for all of these here. And this will give us the reveals that we're going to develop here. Uh, in this case here, we're going to click on the icons. So I'm going to select the first icon here and we'll add an interaction to that. This is going to be very simple. So the trigger will be click tap and the action will be to show the text associated with that particular icon here. And then we could just go down to next here and we can apply an animation. I would suggest something like something subtle like a fade forward is probably what I would choose here. So let's select that here and you can select reset state on slide revisit and we'll click done. Now to make it easy, I can right click on this and copy the interaction and uh, paste the interaction on the remaining icons here. It's not identical in all cases. We need to make a small change, but that's probably easier than building it always from scratch here. So. For this one here, we're going to show um, text 704. That's a carry forward from the first one here. So I can just double click on this, double click on the target, and unselect text 704 and instead select 706. Everything else remains the same. So I can just go next and done. We'll do the same thing for this one here. Double click on that, double click on the text 704. We'll unselect it and we'll choose the third text component. Press next, done. Once more on our fourth item here, just change that one element of the advanced interaction here and make sure we're choosing the right one. And next and done. Lastly, our final one here. And we'll double click on text 704, unselect the original and select the final one. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to disable the next button until the student has clicked all five of these items here. So first thing I need to do is make sure that for this particular icon, we actually have enabled the disabled state. So I'm going to right click on the disabled state and enable that. I don't need a selected state, so I can disable that, and I can do that for the back button as well. So that's perfect there. Now to create that next button disabled, when we arrive on the slide, you can right click on it and choose disable during publish. And then what happens is we need a slide level interaction that will enable it once the student has pressed all five of these icons. So let's click plus next to slide interactions and we'll say when objects are clicked and we'll choose all the icons, right? Click next and what we'll do is we'll choose more and we will enable our next button. Now, before we add an avatar to this, let's make sure this interaction works as expected. So I'm just gonna preview this. Okay, so let's just test this interaction out. The first one works, second one works, third one works, fourth, 
fifth, and our next button gets enabled once we've clicked on all five. Let's close the browser down and let's go ahead and add our avatar. And you can do that from the Generative AI button in your home toolbar. And we'll select Generate Avatar. I'm just gonna go with the default for right now. I think that's fine. I'm gonna change its shape to a circle and let's choose a solid color that I think will work well for this particular project. We'll go ahead and press apply. And the placement looks good, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much, but let's go ahead and select generate avatar. Now you'll notice that you have two different types of triggers. You can trigger on slide enter, and I'm gonna use that for my slide level text, if you will. So we'll click on slide enter, and I will paste in the appropriate text that's there and we'll click next. That's going to generate once I press generate, but I can take care of the, the click to reveal portion as well. So let's do that. We'll add a new transcript. In this case, we're choosing click tap and I'm gonna start with screen eight underscore one icon and the narration for that will be as follows. Click next, click add new transcript, click tab, and I'm gonna grab the text. I have that in a notepad document to my right here, and we'll select our enhanced leadership icon, and we'll go ahead and press next. We'll add another transcript for our third click tap, and that will be this text. Next, add a new transcript, and this is our fourth item here. Click tap, fourth, put the text in, next, and finally the text associated with the fifth and final item here. Click tap, choose the icon, and paste that in, press next. Now all I need to do is press generate. This will take some time. One of the nice things about Adobe Captivate 13 is that I can go to another slide and continue to work on my project. So I don't have to wait for this to finish. Okay, so I've got my notification that all six avatar videos have been generated. I think we're ready to preview this and see how it looks and how it sounds. Enhancing your emotional intelligence offers the following benefits. Press each icon to learn more. So we've got our introductory text for the slide itself. I don't know if you noticed, but closed captioning was generated for us automatically. Let's start with the first icon. Improved communication and interpersonal relationships. Second. Enhanced leadership abilities and teamwork. Better stress management and resilience. Enhanced decision-making and problem-solving skills. And watch the next button here. Increased empathy and understanding in social interactions. And what's really great, not only do we have our next button enabled, but I don't know if you noticed, but closed captioning was on for all of those click to reveals, which is a real advantage of using one of these AI avatars. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.